I'm going to try to hit two targets. One is a big picture, and one then is a very focused one. I want to take us to the scriptures in 1 Kings chapter 19 to three verses chapter 1 Kings chapter 19 verses 15, 16 and 17. There has been an enormous amount of emphasis of the going from one generation to the next. And when we talk about the prophetic, we talk about often about going for the double. And in that emphasis, we will use 2 Kings chapter 2, etc. Elijah to Elisha. And that is appropriate. It's just extremely incomplete. And let's take a look at what transpired. 1 Kings, if I can pull it up on my phone. Oh, there we go. 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 15. The Lord said to him, Go, return on your way to the wilderness of Damascus. And when you have arrived, you shall anoint Hazael, king over Amram. And Jehu, the son of Nishi, you shall anoint king over Israel. And Elisha, the son of Jehat and whoever, and you shall anoint as prophet. <laughs> and now do you notice something here already? We emphasize the one. And we have almost completely overlooked the two. Yeah. We emphasize the one, the prophet. Elijah to Elisha. And you shall anoint Elisha as a prophet in your place. And it shall come about. The one who escapes, listen to this. It's outrageous. I love this. This is a triple threat. And the days in which we live, it's going to take this combination. Yeah. And it shall come about that the one who escapes the sword of Hazel, Jehu, shall put to death. And the one who escapes the sword of Jehu, Elisha shall put to death. It's a triple. I could not figure out recently, because I'm a dreamer. I have been prophesying for 48 years. And it is only in the last three months I started having sports dreams. I had a dream about horse races. The Kentucky Derby, the Belmont Stakes, and the Preakness. What in the world am I doing? I had a dream about baseball. You know, like the field of dreams. But they had something in common. What would it be? Triple crown winners. Now, I'm not going to go through baseball and what constitutes a triple crown winner. I already did in part about the horse racing. And I had these back-to-back -back dreams in one night about the horse races, and I had the next dream in the same night about a triple crown winner in baseball. And I'm going, God, what are you talking about? And then I land on this. This is a part of where we are right now. It is not enough to have as a template in this hour, church prophets. I know we're all saying this, but I'm just going to give us a biblical context for this. That gentleman that just did whatever you just did, outrageous. <laughs> Patricia King and I spent an hour interview that you can watch online of her and I dialoguing about divine intelligence. Because that is where we've got to go. 
We have got to go there. Now, it's another big subject, but it's all interrelated. Do you see where this is a prototype here of where the prophetic was going to go to, did go to? Two were anointed as kings. One was anointed as a prophet. We must take this prophetic equipping and prophetic empowering. And there's got to be a double that gets empowered and sent into these, obviously, many ways of saying it, other cultural mountains. Like some have been saying this today. That dear lady over there at that table that you're up here and and, and and I don't know your name. I don't even know what city you're from. But that's got that prophetic evangelism anointing upon you. I just declare over you that you are a forerunner. And you are a prototype of what the Lord is doing in this hour. And you are one of these that I am prophet. That the, the scriptures are talking about now. There are those who are in-house prophets. And there are those who are out-house prophets. And the Lord is raising up in this hour. Those who are in the house, but then they are the sent ones and they get sent in the house, equipped in the house. They are in the house, but they are sent ones and they become king makers. Wow. They themselves become king makers. And that man who was just up here, wherever he went, uh, where is he? I declare to you, you are a king maker. And in Detroit, I've had dream after dream after dream after dream about Detroit. And how the Lord is going to visit Detroit. And there's going to be a rebuilding of the places called of des desolation. There will be restoration. And every place that there would be devastation, there will be restoration. And I just, and it's a part of even a heritage and a mantle that is upon Dr. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 ben uh, Carson in the name of Jesus. And you are actually picking up a part of an inheritance that he walks in and, and is divine intelligence. And I just declare you are a forerunner of one of these prophets, uh, apostolic prophets, who is to discover and be a king maker in wow. Jesus' name. Yes. Wow. So I hope that you can see out of this template it, well, there you go. I have been praying over him for five years. I had a visitation about that man. I did not even know who he was. That's another subject. Now I gotta go focus for uh, one minute and 42 seconds on one more thing. The Supreme Court. In 2017, I started having dreams. It went into very great details where I was awakened at 2.22 in the morning by a dream on, I think it was June 18th, of when there was, a, 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 and I see a Judge Kennedy uh, in a dream that he was going to resign. And then I wake up out of the dream. I go through a picture frame and I go into it and I see two Faces. I was not given names, but I saw two faces. By the way, this is all totally documented. I have done the research through my journals, and I spoke about this on three different television shows, etc. So it's all totally, what I'm saying is totally documented. And I saw two faces. I saw Brett Kavanaugh, and I saw Amy Barrett. And I went through a picture frame, and I saw them both. Well, on that very day, guess what happened? Judge Kennedy resigned. And I had the word of the Lord that came to me and it said, President Trump has been chosen to select three Supreme Court justices. And I see their faces of who they would be. And then, and, and then later I hear, he will select a Deborah who will shift the courts towards true, listen to this phrase, true constitutional conservatism. 
And then later, because I have, I have dreams, I have visitations. This is just a part of my prophetic language and inheritance in the Lord. And I got to shift and move and I just got to release this. Because guess what? I am releasing this declaration. But what's going on right now? It's the third day of the Supreme Court hearing of who? Amy Barrett. And the Lord gave me another clear dream. And he said, I have an Esther. I mean, in 2018, I have a Esther waiting in the wings that is going to change the courts to true constitutional conservatism for years to come. So I declare in the name of the Lord of hosts in a governmental section in the prophetic that kings are being anointed in Jesus name. The prophets are being anointed in Jesus' name. That the priest and the prophet and the king, the anointing, are coming together. And this is God's triple threat in this hour. It is a triple threat. It is a triple threat. It is the triple crown winner time. And it is the triple crown winner. And so we just say, boldness and righteousness. And integrity shall come together. And we speak favor upon a Deborah who is a judge. And upon an Esther who knows prayer and fasting. To take a stand for life and righteousness. And do not give up at this critical hour. Because things are about to change.